Right, it's time for joining us interactive and my Twitter baby. It's your hello, Maps. Hello, Izzy. It's, it's a while since I call you Maps Don't Lie. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, but you know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're joining you on TV. Now, the electricity company of Ghana is back in control uh, of the power of Ghana's power distribution following government suspension of the concession agreement with power distribution service now a lot of people have been talking about this on our social various social media pages people are asking okay so are we going back to the old logo what are we doing with the money some are complaining that ah oh, but my meter still has money when PDS took over you know there's just so many things happening on social media let's see if we can get that on our Facebook page join us on TV what you have been saying about the PDS and ECG take over all right let's see if we can get the comments onto our screens you know how to continue the conversation join us on TV. all right so Nana McQueen it says I hope this cancellation is in the best interest of Ghana Francis says contract guarantees uh, provided before a contract is signed or I stand to be corrected I hope the suspension will be in the interest of Ghana. So yes, contract guarantees are signed, are provided before the contract is signed. Mm -hmm. And they said, yes, they got it. It turns out that the person who signed it uh, isn't actually the right person to sign it. Now, this guy is uh, very good at confusing the good people of the country. It is only after the presentation of the media budget that they could detect these abnormalities. Very sad to say the least, and Joy News can afford to give them the platform to continue to lie to us. I wish you uh, track six billion and see where it ends. The only insight you into while they use the money to a different thing. Okay, I don't quite get your message. All right, let's go to Good Love, who says, I think it's the best decision. We should learn to correct our mistakes without fear, and we have to be bold in taking serious decisions, and we have to hail them for not delaying upon seeing the abnormalities. Asama Kweku who says, I can't comprehend uh, when did the due diligence take place wow that's some interesting uh comments coming there um frederick so frederick says we should prepare for judgment debt uh hashtag ghana beyond privatization upon all our resources wasted for contract reviewing and then this one is from frank Ajay, who says indeed a brilliant decision ever since the assumption you pay tariffs and it's never deducted from the bill Now, both PDS and ECG have fun Facebook pages. They're just trying to make you laugh in the dark. And some of these pages have been trending. And so, as you can see, it's just for fun. Right. They have stated it that it's just for fun. And we decided to take some of those uh, comments. So, yesterday when the statement was released, PDS uh, Ghana says, oh, Eradio, uh -huh. if you don't want any trouble, just go and beg the president to rescind this decision. We're very mad, and you know what happens when we're mad. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and they said, you people don't call our office anymore, but we know how to make you check up on us. Just wait. Ah. And you know, when we check up on them, that means we are complaining because our lights are off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then uh, this other one. When we give them light for months, they don't praise us, but they will be insulting us when we are, when we off it. Okay, oh, we all day here. And the uh, riddle, riddle. When it rains, what happens? So of course, when it rains, usually our lights are going off. And this one. Those who don't have light to watch the NSMQ final 2019 finals, don't worry. We give you light to watch the NSMQ 2020 finals. We promise. <laughs> and this one, when when the Black Stars were playing at Afcon, they say the Black Stars are playing today, and it looks like it's going to rain today. Hmm, this is interesting. And if your loom pays you, make sure you buy a generator. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, more of those comments of PDS Facebook page. This one says, please don't insult our mothers when we off your lights. They don't work here with us. Thank you. All right, so this one was also from the... Now, the previous one we just read was from PDS. Okay. This one is ECG. The ECG fan page. Yes. So the funny thing is, now PDS people, they laugh at us when they took over. Now we're back to do more harm. <laughs> <laughs> more money. Now the mafia, you too. Kindly. Like. <laughs> All right, and ECG once again. After selling the company to PDS, government now wants us to take over again. Laughing emoji. Now, Ghanaians, you are in danger. You'll experience worse than before. We won't lie. 
to you and those who used to insult our mothers and fathers can continue reigning in us. Share, share, share. So the funny thing is that the ECG page and the um, PDS page, the PDS page has more likes okay. than the ECG. And it gets... No, the ECG fan page. The ES, ECG So the PDS fan, page. PDS fan page has more likes than the ECG fun fan page. page all right. Yeah, all right. So, but moving on, there have been some complaints from a lot of people on social media. And they say they've been getting strange calls, phone calls from people in Dubai, India, Ethiopia, and other countries. But those three countries seem to be appearing the most on their calls. Most of them are spams, and we want to know and find out what exactly is happening. Joining me on the line is our tech expert, Kobe Spikey Nkrumah, to tell us all about this. Now, good evening, Spikey. Good evening, Matt. First of all, where do these companies get our numbers? Well, I can't say for sure exactly where they're getting, but there's so many ways that it could get the numbers. Mm -hmm. And this is something that has been going on for a while. You know, when people go to, say, when you go to a building, a high-rise building, all these offices, and they have these false cap notebooks, and they ask you to write your name, your number, who you're coming to see, and all that. Now, nobody knows how that data is disposed of. When the, when the books get full, nobody knows where those books are sent. But... The suggestion is that say, people go and buy these books because, hey, it's data. And mm -hmm. those phone numbers can be used for a lot of things. They could be sold to these companies who are looking for people that they can reach and sell their products to. And sometimes when you, go, when you travel outside a country and you use free Wi-Fi, before you use it, it actually asks you to sign up, enter some details. And people don't pay attention to all these things. They just fill the document, give away their data. Who knows? That data of yours could be sold to these companies. And sometimes the company also, you know, is a victim of a data breach. And they take these data, this data, and then they sell it to these companies so that they can reach you and sell their products to you. All right. So, uh, uh, Spikey, I have also received one of those, uh, some of these phone calls. I, in mm -hmm. fact, I keep getting the phone calls. And I ask them how they got my number. And they're saying that if I ever, they ask me, have you ever expressed interest in, you know, buying property or getting a mortgage? And I said, yes. They said, yes, that's how come we got your number. So, well, they've been frank enough to say that. Um, but, yes, like you're saying, it's possible they could have gotten a number. From yeah, because uh, I have also yeah. received these calls before. Mm -hmm. And I have not expressed any interest in getting any property. All right. Or mortgage. But... They, they didn't. They, they said, well, they got my name from, you know, some database. Blah, blah. I tried to try for more information, but the, the guy wasn't ready to give me information. But I know for a fact that they got my number from probably one of the, one of, one of the services that I used for free, which asked for me to put in a phone number. So what I decided to do was to track how these guys get my number by getting a different phone number and then using that to register specific websites and then seeing whether they call that number. So far, I'm just waiting to get calls on that number. Then I would know exactly where the calls and the data is being breached from. All right. Spikey, before we let you go, what happens when you have blocked the number, but they are still able to call you? Because what happens is that people block the number, and then it writes spam, and people mm. they still get through to you. Well... If you're using, um, it depends on what app you're using to block the number. If you're using an app like TrueCaller on your phone, it allows you to block a certain range of phone numbers. Okay. So when it identifies a spam, that's most, most likely it's TrueCaller that's identifying it as spam. So you have to add that phone number and then there's the, the string of phone numbers that follow it to the spam or the block list. And it wouldn't even ring. It would just mark it as a, a missed call on your phone, and it would never ring. But if you're still getting those calls, it means that you didn't do the blocking well. All right. It's supposed to block it permanently and prevent it. All right. But if you just want to get these calls again, next time you go somewhere and they ask you to enter your phone number, and it's not pressing, just police that number. Just write something that nobody can read. All right, thank you so much. That's our tech expert here at Multimedia, Kobe Spike Nkrumah. And that's where we draw the curtains on Joe News Interactive. Here on Joe News Prime with me, Mapita Sibidi. Remember how to continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with Joe News on TV. <laughs>